Hello everybody, welcome to Fear Food Fixes, where we once again are going to tackle some frightening food for your enjoyment. Today we are going to tackle one of my favorite fear foods, Brussels sprouts. I can't tell you how many times I've cooked Brussels sprouts and people are like, oh yeah, I don't eat Brussels sprouts, oh, oh, no. And then my kids come downstairs and like, what are we having for dinner? And I'm like, Brussels sprouts. And they're like doing this little yummy dance. Like, yay, Brussels sprouts. We love Brussels sprouts. And my friends look at my kids like, what? Do you drug your kids? How is this possible? It is possible. Trust me. And you are going to become a believer after you make this recipe. I promise. Here's what you're going to need to make the best Brussels sprouts you've ever had. You're going to need... Brussels sprouts, although you could cover anything in these ingredients, would be awesome. A pomegranate, butter, salt, molasses, vanilla, and the most important one, bacon. Actually, you can make this without bacon and it'll still be delicious, but pretty much everything is better with bacon, so <laughs> why would you? I know we should rewind a second. You heard me say vanilla and you're like, wait a minute, are we making chocolate chip cookies or are we making Brussels sprouts? Trust me, vanilla is going to be our very best friend in this recipe because the reason you feared Brussels sprouts in the past is either their slimy texture when they've been boiled or steamed or their sulfuric flavor, similar to cabbage or broccoli. The vanilla and the molasses are going to eliminate that sulfuric flavor and they're just going to taste rich and delicious. The pomegranate is going to be our tangy flavor. To make something delicious you have to have sweet, salty, tangy. And we're going to have all three. The bacon is going to be our salty, the sweet is obviously our molasses and vanilla, and our pomegranate is going to be our tangy. Super, super good. So what we're going to have to do first is chop these up so, I'm going to throw knives all over the place. I'm going to cut the bottoms off my Brussels sprouts, like so. And then I'm going to quarter them because this makes them just about the perfect bite size. And they get really tender this way, um, as opposed to still raw and crunchy in the middle and soggy on the outside. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut all these up and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've got our bacon in the oven, baking on a baking sheet, because this is the only proper way to cook bacon. If you toss the bacon in with the quartered Brussels sprouts, your bacon will still be limp and soggy by the time your Brussels sprouts are perfectly cooked. So we're going to crisp the bacon in the oven, chop it up, and garnish the Brussels sprouts with it at the end. So if you've had bacon and Brussels sprouts before and hated it, it was probably because you had soggy bacon or burnt Brussels sprouts. Not my way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two tablespoons of butter and a few capfuls of vanilla and we're going to melt it in the microwave. Then we're going to toss our quartered Brussels sprouts with this and roast them off in the oven as well. Because if you've learned anything from watching this show, you've learned that roasting vegetables in the oven or in a pan is the way to caramelize the vegetable and make sure that you don't get a slimy texture or a sulfuric taste. Now, I don't know about you, but eating Brussels sprouts that are slimy and taste like rotten eggs is not really on my list of things to do today. So, let's melt our butter. So I'm taking my very beautiful, very fragrant melted butter and I've put my quartered Brussels sprouts in a Corningware dish the reason I love corningware dishes is because my cooking dish can also be my serving dish, which saves me a lot of time. As we've said before, I have seven month old twins. I don't enjoy doing dishes. So I'm going to dress my Brussels sprouts in this beautiful vanilla butter, which I know sounds weird. I was skeptical at first too, but I promise you it's fantastic. You're not gonna taste a vanilla chocolate chip cookie flavor. All it's going to do is remove that bitterness, that sulfuric taste from the Brussels sprouts that you don't want. 
And then we're gonna salt them lightly because the butter is salted and the bacon is salty. So even though I love salt and need it, I live in the desert, I'm only gonna lightly salt them. Mix it around. And I'm not gonna put in my pomegranate seeds or my molasses just yet. Um, the pomegranate seeds I want to keep uncooked, raw, crunchy, and fresh. So these are going to go in the oven at 450 along with the bacon. They'll take about 15 minutes. Um, and the bacon takes about 10 to 15 minutes as well at the same temperature. So you can do both at the same time and not be in the kitchen all day long. All right, our Brussels sprouts are browned and tender. There should be little brown bits and they should be tender to the touch but not soggy. And our bacon, as you can see, is crispy. We had four strips and we diced it up. Not too skinny of a dice because we want nice big chunks because everyone loves bacon and you want to get a nice, a nice big piece. <laughs> At least I do. Maybe I'm alone and wanting more bacon. I also took the seeds out of half a pomegranate. You don't need the whole thing, um, just half of one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle those beautiful little pomegranate seeds into my freshly roasted Brussels sprouts, just like this. I'm going to stir so that it's all evenly mixed. The colors are beautiful. This makes a perfect Christmas or Thanksgiving dish, as you can see. Then I'm going to sprinkle my bacon throughout, my large chunks of bacon. I'm going to stir it just like that so that everything is all evenly integrated. Then I'm going to drizzle it with my molasses very thin stream of this molasses. If you make it too molasses, it'll be too sweet. So just a drizzle, just like that. We're gonna to toss it again to get the molasses all combined. And then we would serve this immediately. It's so, so good. I make myself a little bite here that has everything. Pomegranate seed, bacon, Brussels sprout. Mmm. The Brussels sprouts are perfect. You wouldn't even know they were Brussels sprouts if you're expecting that, you know, pungent sulfuric flavor. They don't have it at all. They're, they're tender. They have a nice caramelization. The bacon is salty. The pomegranate is tangy. And the molasses is slightly sweet and adds a richness. It's just so fantastic. You could eat these with a fried egg on top for breakfast. You could toss them with some sliced turkey, some lettuce, a little blue cheese dressing for lunch, or put them on the side of anything, steak, chicken, whatever, for dinner. If you're a vegetarian, skip the bacon and serve it next to some quinoa. I don't care. These are fabulous. Mmm. Mmm. All right, my darling gourmets. If you have a food you're terrified of, please post it in the comment section. I would be more than happy to tackle it and make it delicious for you.